because um, well we're gonna have all the seeds right see I need to I need my my big old bump in labor force because we can get more people moving stuff we can get more people working markets and just making things function and, and work better let's get a road over here <laughs> we'll speak of the devil who are you welcome <laughs> I don't have a home for you. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Tonight goes 49. Welcome back to Banished. <sighs> lots of comments. Lots of things to go over. I, I got to let you know, I complain about this every time, but my throat hurts still, and I had a flu shot this week, and uh, it's kicking my butt. So... Let's jump into it. Lewis says, oh, at the 29 minute, 45 second mark, when you were over the modular homes area and you talked about getting a market over them, Martha would tell Night Ghost, Night Ghost, those homes have a market, a bakery. What are your choices for the first level? If you guys know what I'm talking about, here, let me show you. So we go into the, the homes. Wait, <laughs> there we go, homes, modular homes. That's the urban house. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. There's a market for level one and there's a bakery for level one. So let's put the tail over here. I did that so I wouldn't forget. Here's the modular homes that we were doing. Okay. I could put a bakery in the first levels. Oh yeah, and I didn't put anybody here. Uh, a bakery at the first level or a market. But we already built this market, so I'm not going to stress about it, honestly. And the bakery, I don't think, is a good call because we're already burning through tons of flour right now. I can barely make enough barley to make flour that, that, to then use that flour. Actually, that's an assumption. Hold on. Let's confirm or uh, get rid of that assumption. Flour. No, we have 3,800. So, just kidding. We have a ridiculous amount of flour. In fact, we should probably put in some bakeries over here. And I like this one. That bakery is obviously more efficient, right? Yeah. Yes, it's really good. Hello. Why don't we go and do food? This. There's there's a lot of other comments, by the way. Oh, there's a completely different bakery. Absolutely not. I love these bakeries. <laughs> we They've been tried and tested. Uh, there we go. We'll do two of those. It'll be fun. Okay, there's a couple more comments, and even there's more to what Lewis said. Or maybe that would be... Oh, he said maybe that would be Normand. Trying to be more efficient. Nice. Then a bit later, you added a dock market while talking about saving space. Lol. If you did first level market in the modular homes, that would be a great space saver. Uh, question? I don't know how big the radius is on that one. So maybe... You know what? Maybe we should do that over here. Let's... Let's build a market. Okay, the radius is not that big, but it would save space technically. So you're not wrong. So why don't we put in a bakery instead? And we will, hello, we will track this one and then build on top of it. How's that sound? Okay, and Lewis also says, Nigel's great episode, loving the reboot of Nomadia Core. Keep up the good work. I would agree with Andres. Andres? Andres? Oh, sorry, the Swede. That you are the best Spanish YouTuber. We love your voices and the calm after the tornado, lol. That calm after the tornado was not so much for dramatic effect as for me to mentally understand and cope with what just happened. Great job, by the way, on the recovery on that after that one. One thing I would point out, when you leveled the mountain, you can do resource gathering from around it. And the level command. And one thing, if you use the other leveling tool... That's right, next to the one you always use. Lol. Greetings from Western Colorado. You're close, man. You are close. So this one, flattens terrain. Water holes come up, mountains come down. Use this to remove structures to delete yellow icons. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yellow icons. Mm. This, use this tool very carefully as you cannot undo your actions. Destroys all resources. Okay, so, so this flattening tool I could do and it would it would mark the resources to be recovered. And that one, the one that I always use, doesn't. Now, the reason I use that one is because it's just faster. But, and not if I sit there and try to pull up all the other resources. It's 
it's even longer actually so good point i should probably start using that or at least try it out now carrie says i'd love to see you plant all the seeds in all the orchards and have all the regular pastures gourmet nomads would flock by the thousands <laughs> that's true i am trying to focus on that a bit um but i could make a more concerted effort for sure and to have like even more pastures and and stuff like that oh that's right we've got two pastures going on over here um i should probably put in some orchards over this way let's do dense orchard 30 by 10. no my brain hurts i'm, I'm just gonna do the 10 by 15s i'm being lazy i i know we wanted to try the odd stuff maybe not now because it's late and my head hurts and my body feels like it's fighting the flu even though i know it's not the flu <laughs> Even though I know. Okay. Endress says, Homes, Mr. Nikos, and clothes. Do some kind of clothing area. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. We got that coming. Uh, like some wool animal pastures with tailors and homes nearby. Jeez. You don't like building homes. Do the northern homes, please. What are the northern homes? Good episode. <laughs> the crazy Swede. Okay, where? what are these... What are these northern homes that you speak of? I'm very confused. Small town home. There's a forest home and a farmhouse. I'm very confused. Colonials, Nordic. Is that what you mean? Nordic homes? Boarding, new medieval, tiny row, small row, angled, row houses, village. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Unless you are talking about Nordic homes. And they're red. Which I do love red. Um, we could we could dot a bunch of red ones in here. I, I put some over... Put some of these modular ones over here. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just make a bunch of homes? Oh, we do need a ton. Let's just put a bunch in. We're, we're going to do the overview as well once we're done with the comments. But I can just plop a bunch of these guys in so we don't forget. I like to address what you guys say in the comments or write it down. Otherwise, I won't do it. Kendi says, uh, you do have chilies. Oh, okay. N then, really? Yeah, I do. Well, that's dumb. I've got chilies. Let's switch the beans to, like, chilies. And these two. Let's let's do those two as chilies. We'll get that going a little bit. The northwest corner of the north side may be able to fit bank barns instead of the west side. Oh, I think you're talking about over here. Wait. Where did we try to do the bank barns? We did those here. And then, then I just cleared it. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not super stressed about that, but good call on, on actually trying the other sides. Because I'm I'm a goof, and I just don't even bother looking sometimes. I'm like, it doesn't fit, so whatever. And I just don't do it, because I'm a baby. Heck, they might even fit here, for all we know. I may have already tried that. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm not going to stress about it. You forgot to employ the school... So Eater says you forgot to pull the school in the Southern Mining District. And yeah, I did. I did. I went ahead and got somebody on that, though, uh, right now. So thank you for the heads up on that. I did kind of forget to do that once it was finished. Get some roads down here as well. Catherine says, are you going to buy every seed? Now that would be a great challenge. Yeah, I, I'd like to, actually. Because we, we've got books. There's no sense in us not doing it. Jennifer says, I hope so. I've always wanted to see that. On that note, please build some orchards and plant all the mini orchard seeds you have. That is something I have uh, completely neglected to do. I've literally only done like two orchard plants, which is kind of ridiculous because I've been buying a bunch of them lately, and we could we could seriously like crank a bunch of those out. So I did I did put in the orchards over here. So we're that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do different ones on each. There's six different ones, so we'll be able to get those seeds down. Spike says your kilnsman numbers are uneven. It's a nice trick to know if you have two people at each brick house or brickworks. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you did have bamboo. You just bought more seeds. Great video. Keep up with the great work. Oh, did I double up on bamboo like a goof? Ah. Uh, yeah, I've got seven kilnsmen. 
which means I am uneven. One of them is not does not have two people working it. That brick works does. Okay. So does that one. And so does that one. That's two for six. Yep. So there's one more somewhere. And the funny thing is, I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Um, oh gosh, so full. Freaking upgrade that, please. Where did I put this thing? All right, hold on. Why are you over here? Because they're maxed. Because the limits max are not actually going to go where they normally work. Because <sighs> they're laborers right now. Uh, dang it. You know what? I'm actually going to leave up the iron limit to two or 4,000 because we could do a whole lot more. All right. That one's good. We know that one. Wait, we, we checked this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Where did I build that? Oh, were you saying the bank barns might work over here? Am I, was I looking at the wrong place? I, I messed it up, honestly. It's my own fault. I put the stuff too close. Where is the dang Kilnsman? Kilnsman! Oh, sorry, my eye itches. Ah. Totally not allergies, right? Yeah, well, look, we're getting more trade chickens. I could start selling those. I'm getting distracted. Okay. Kilnsman. So it's Kilnsman and not just like Chopper. Right? I mean, so because like this is different. That's a wood chopper. I don't know where he is. Um, I feel kind of dumb right now. I wish I could remember where I put him. We'll keep an eye out for him on this episode. Grace says, uh, this is awesome. You spoiled me. Can't watch anyone else play Banished. <laughs> Well, I hope that I hope I haven't spoiled it too much. Uh, Ratna says, "Build more homes. Your population growth is stagnating." Okay, and then I think I think I've gotten into most of the other comments, except that David came back and commented again on something he said before. Also, you have three thousand leather. Leather. Maybe get some wool pens with those domesticated animals to crank out pea coats. Yep, that's actually the plan. So that was that that was my plan the whole time. Obviously, we're not going to build that here, so we'll get rid of you. I need an area for tons of wool production, and I'd like it to actually be back around here somewhere. Good, I didn't build over here. Okay, so here's my plan. I want to build up homes over here, which we're seeing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We want to do the overview. Let, let's do the overview, and then we'll come back to that. So, currently, we have 745 citizens, 377 families, and 231 homes. We need way more homes. We're overproducing on food by only... 10,000. So it's a little precarious right now. We're doing fantastic on tools. Um, we're barely overproducing on fuel. So actually, I should probably make another Kilnsman. We're a short, slightly short of even on iron, but that's because of the limit. So I just upped the limit. We're not doing great on stone, but we have a decent stockpile. And actually, we're getting behind on logs. I'm hoping that that will change shortly because of the dense foresters that I did. But we'll see. It also might have to do with the limit that we were setting for ourselves. So, all right, domesticated animals are coming in here from barley. Do I have oats or corn? I might. I might have oats or corn. I don't think I have corn, but I may have oats. No, I don't. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that. Really, barley, barley, barley. We need to do a lot. Let's unpause. All right, we need to do domesticated animals into the wool pens. So, let's do that right now. Let's get six. Bank barn's done. Good job. Urban bakery's gonna get worked on. These bakeries and all those things are gonna get worked on. Remember, we've got orchards that we're not even tracking that are actually gonna be done over in this particular area of the map. All right, so there's the barns. We're gonna, or the pens. We're gonna do homes over here. And then I need tailoring to be done. And, but we also need a lot of storage, which goes back to those bank barns. Um, what was that? your phone stop busy buzzing at me these are really frustrating to place honestly i don't really want to place it that far back to be real a 
Let's do two of these. I'll track one of them. And then I'll track one of these wool pins as well. All right, what you got for us? Ducks, beef cows, trade cows. I'm, I'm not going to stress about that right now. Um, you know what? Why don't we buy some food, though? Let's see. What? Let's see. 500 ale and 500 mead. Watch out. Now that's all you need. Uh, yeah, let's just use those for now. That's fine. Let's do 2,000 muscles. Let's do it. 2,000 muscles. Not, not the ones you're thinking of, Arnold. He gets really sad when it's not the particular one that he's thinking of. Tallow, wild seeds. You know what? I, I'm going to back off on some of these. I really would not. I don't want to just burn through these and buy stuff that's not super efficient. So we'll just do that for now and dismiss. More food coming in actually would be helpful. Okay. Level one bakery. Good. Hard tack. Maybe we'll just set it for bread. Um, I mean, we can do other stuff with the apricot, but let's do something different, right? We'll just do bread bread. Just bread bread. See, like they've got little things on the top here. We can go ahead and put in level two urban home. Oh, I don't know what the shingles and stuff look like. Um, it actually should be fine if I do one of them because this overhang is like just a cloth one, so we're fine. All right, I'll, I'll leave that alone. We'll come back to this guy when we're ready. Now, these bakeries, we are going to continue to probably do that. At least one of them is going to be the apricots. And then this one, let's get rid of you. This one, I'm not sure what we want to do. I'm going to pause for a second. I do have two pastures that are complete. And is that trader still here? They are. I don't have beef cows and I don't have duck. So if I could get eight of those and eight of the beef cows, which we know that we can because of the books, we'll be sitting real nice. 800 additional units. There we go. So duck and beef. Duck, beef cows. Why are you not doing your thing? Oh, are some of the wool pins getting finished? Okay, we're going to let those pastures do their thing. Let's come back over here to the wool pins. We'll get a couple more people there. Let's go back over here to the bakery and figure out what we want to make here. <sighs> Flour and vegetable oil to make donuts. Oh, man. Those are some Homer Simpson donuts, right? You know what I mean? Okay, storage barn. Let's go ahead and make sure we're upgrading you. And we'll track this one as well so we can do an upgrade. That will pin whatevs. We'll get that one going. Are we waiting on domesticated animals? Let's see, two out of four. Two out of four. Looks like we are. Scarlet fever. We have an outbreak of star scarlet fever. <sighs> i got to make sure we've got the right medical coverage. I don't have a uh, hospital back here, do I? Or a church. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get um, let's get some big old honking churches here. Right? Yeah. There's a church. Then we'll get a hospital as well. There we go. Okay, we'll let those do their thing. Storage barn, good job. Upgrade. Pub kitchens we're going to need to deal with here at some point. Um, as you can see, I don't have what we need there. So I guess we're waiting on the domesticated animals. Are they waiting to be made? Grown, right? I've got a few people that are sick. And they are... You're going to the barber shop. You just need a shave, kid. Yeah, we don't have any domesticated animals. That's what we're seeing. Oh, you know what? It's spring. Orchards. Hmm. Well, let's do them. Maple. And um, orange. Right? Okay, we've got another wool pin. Let's get going on that. One of the first ones is being made. There's no wool yet, but that's okay. We're getting there. we got some storage coming up here. I can put some dried goods there. Urban Home uh, 2 was complete. Let's go ahead and take a look here. See, look at that. Fantastic. You just, you're just looking real nice. Let's go at level 3. Bam. It's a little different. I kind of don't like the way it looks. I like that it's here. And that it's close by and they can, they can do what they need to do. It's That's pretty cool. I really should do a whole check on storage and things like that at, at some point. Leaks. Oh, you're doing fine. Okay. What do you have for us? Clothing? Honestly, I do need to buy clothing until we get this stuff up and going. Let's get 150 of the survival coats. 
and we'll we'll buy them with some ale and maybe some mead and ten more huh two things of wine that's for a race the mercer keep that one for yourself there we go dismiss thank you have a nice day I've still got this going and you know what I don't mind it right now we haven't finished this off we're, we're not ready to to give up the old ways right ah orchards we, we finished on orange plum good job you and we'll do figs fig figgity fig figgity let's do pears is that am I saying coffee I didn't you can do coffee on orchards that does no we need to do plantations with that that's dumb quince Holy crap, actually, I look at how much. Whoa, we have a lot. All right, let's get those going. We'll put down roads as well to get completed. A lot of homes were finished in that other area where we have the wool pins. So we're going to have to go and take a look and see what's going on there. Lots of seeds. All right, let's do it. Let's make sure we haven't missed out on any seeds. And uh, see if we can get everything, right? Kale, I know we have. Coffee, we have. Rye, I'm pretty sure we do not have. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little cough drop here. Apologies. There we go. I haven't checked our tinned food yet either. Yeah, We haven't gotten rye, so we'll do that. Sorghum we have. White mulberry? I think we only have red mulberry. But let's check. Yeah, red mulberry. I don't see white mulberry. So we'll do that as well. We have beans. I believe we have squash. There's eggplant. Um, sweet potato sorghum. Huh. Maybe we don't. All right. So let's get squash. Hey, should we buy three things of bamboo? <laughs> I thought we had tomatoes. But I could be thinking of the previous series. Yeah, we don't have tomatoes. Okay, tomato... I've got sugar cane. I've got lettuce. I don't have rice. I've got agave and it does pour. And that's putting it nicely. I believe I have pumpkins already. I don't... Well, I'm, I'm not seeing them though. Ah, there they are. Pumpkins. We have field onions and we have red mulberry already. We have sunflower. Yeah, so this is all we need. Cool. So how, ki how quickly can we overpay? All right. Um... An additional blah blah units. Great. 34. How about 36? 100? You're about to get bone mealed. Bam. Look at that. Look at how that's not complete yet, but close. Okay, we'll dismiss so they can come and bring some other goodies for us. All right. How are we doing on the overview? We're still not up to 300 yet, so the, <clears throat> excuse me, the amount of homes that we've made is not sufficient. Look at all these stinking tithe barns that are just chock a lock full. All right, let's get the wool pins going. Oh, I need to I need to put in tailor shops. I can't forget about that. Duh, we gotta make them. And I'm gonna amp this up a lot. I'm probably gonna get a second person to come here and work the stables. These are super powerful, but will leech your barley very quickly. Whatever resource you're currently using. It will take the crap out of it, right? So I am very cautious about just diving in and, and grabbing a bunch of stuff here. I think we need to put in more homes here. How is this doing? Yeah, we, we need more people there. I'm tempted to put a school over here as well, actually. In fact, if I can, if I can fit it, I will. Yeah, one-room schoolhouse that we'll do a full upgrade on. There you go. It's the full ecclesiastical studies and everything right here, you know? We'll do some more Nordic homes, too. I don't know if we have a well, but we're about to have one, even if it's extra. Well, well, well. There you go. There's plenty of jobs to work now. As you can see, the amount of laborers we have is actually dropping. Uh, we've got a nasty curve going on right here. We have lots of children, not as many people in school, and therefore not a lot of laborers joining the workforce. So, slightly problematic. I am going to do even more wool pins all along the back here just to uber centralize this. There we go. You know what? And and I, I want that to be more even. Let's do that there. Hey, just a few jobs. Church, church is done. 
there's not any members immediately joining because the other ones are kind of covered. So we're, we're good to go there. How is our graveyard? Is it filling up? Uh, yeah, it's completely full. Right. Duck. Right? Laying eggs. Beef. Not a good pasture for you. I can tell that already, huh? Okay, well that's fair. Let's go in here and put down some roads. Let's block this off a little bit. Okay. Bison, you're doing fantastic. Look, oh, you even you even made chilies. I don't want to know where those came from. Look at oh, just so so much stuff being stored. My goodness. Imagine if we and I hope this never happens, but imagine if we had a fire. And how much we would lose just right there. Holy crap, that would be bad. I mean, that would just be nuts. Okay, so we have chilies now, right? So one of these stupid pub kitchens should probably work because there was something with chilies, right? Okay, we need more coats as well. So linen clothes. I'm trying to buy the cheapest stuff so we can start making our own and not stress about it. Let's let's pay in spirits. Oh, that's good. There you go. There's a bit more. Yeah. What the heck was I talking about? Pub kitchens. Right. All right, you. We were going to do potatoes and venison, but I don't have potatoes, which is just kind of stupid. Uh, bison and chili. That's going to be an interesting little mix, I think. So give it a go. Let's see how that pub kitchen does. We'll put you over here as working and you guys as aspiring artists. All right, the one-room schoolhouse is not yet complete. What do you have? More seeds. Let's go ahead and pause this thing. I know I've got sweet potatoes. I know a lot of these already. I know what we have. Just squab down. I've got to make sure we get all the seeds uh, <laughs> so we can have our doomsday bunker barn. <laughs> I don't think we have hops. Anyway, let's go down the line. I've got those two. Spinach. I don't know if we have it. Spinach is good, guys. Let me just throw that out there for you. If you are an adult, and maybe as a kid, you tried spinach and it was gross. Or... As a kid, you tried canned spinach because that's a whole nother ball of wax. You owe it yourself to try like raw spinach. It's good. Okay? And try it by itself and then try it like in a salad mixed in with your with your garbage lettuce that doesn't do anything, which is, you know, iceberg lettuce or whatever. Even a romaine mix. It's good. I don't know why I'm I'm really hungry right now. Um, peaches. Got peaches. Uh, we've got watermelons. Do we have cotton? I'm almost positive we have cotton seeds. And I'm not utilizing them right now. We haven't even done plantations yet. Oh, isn't that crazy? I get excited thinking about that. Raspberries. I'm pretty sure we've got raspberries. Uh, yeah, there's the raspberries, Tankos. Hops, though. <laughs> well, we need those. We're going to be cooking and brewing everything. Blackberries, I don't believe we have blackberries. So let's go ahead and do that. We have turnips, we have chilies, we have apples, we have field mushrooms. Apricots, herbs. I don't know if we have soybeans. Maybe I'm thinking of Brussels sprouts. Uh, soybeans are actually a rather versatile plant, and we do have them. Oh, crap. Oh, we don't have corn. We were just talking about that. We've got lettuce and tulips. Okay, this is what we're buying. Overpaying by too much. Got it. All right. We did this a minute ago, wasn't it? 36 or something? No? 34? 32? 30. With an additional 500 needing to be paid. I've got plenty of freaking bone meal, so. Traded. Look at all of that. Dismiss. Unpause. Do this. Let's hit save just in case. I, I just got a little pang of paranoia there nomadia reboot i've been saving over some of the other ones just to keep it clean your your save files can actually get kind of um, bogged down just so you know if, if you're not aware of that with banish if you're starting to see things lag usually it's your save file folder just fyi all right are you bringing in chili? oh they just brought chilies oh my goodness 100 100 i'm actually curious how much do they use of each also, we do need to do more orchards. I'm well aware. I'm waiting. I don't want to put two people on here. Our laborer pool is actually not that great. And I've got a ton of jobs over here to get finished. Oh, look at all this. 
And all of them are going to be upgraded, by the way, to the next level tailor. Oh, they use 10 and 10. They make 7 pub meals. They're considered a luxury. So you know what? Good job, pub kitchen. We're going to leave you the heck alone. How much wool are you making over here? 96! Oh, I love these stinking wool pins. They just... They make me really excited. What? What? Aw, oh, come on. Apricots, apricots. Why are you so sad? Apricots, apricots. Why'd you go bad? Look, one member. That's the that's the clergyman. He's just he's just there. He's like, I got this. Don't worry about it. Were we held up by lumber again or something? It's actually something I should check. Let's come back over here. And go to inventory. Now nah, we've got 2,000. We're fine. Is this hardwood? It freaking is. Well then. Who are you? You're a farmer. Oh, right, right, right. Apricots, apricots. I already sung the song. I got it. We're going to we're gonna mark these to not be worked for now. One room schoolhouse. You're going to be a college. This is going to be a bustling metropolis. We could put some mines all along here. This is the edge of the stinking map. Can you believe that? What? That's insane. I have no actual stockpiles over here. I just thought about that. We don't have dry storage. Um, we don't have anything. Um, hmm. Dried goods. We'll put that there, and then we need we need like the whole shebang. Materials, though, are what I'm actually worried about in this area. All right, what you got for me? <gasps> you have potato seeds. All right, we don't have potatoes. Um, I have, I've got ginger chili. I believe I have peppers, and I, I'm not sure about the canola. Shoot, it just cleared that. All right. I can remember. Peppers and canola. I know canola is like a weird kind of symbol, I think. I think it's weird. Maybe it's because I don't know what the plant actually looks like. I don't see canola. So we're going to do canola. How many times can I say canola? Do we have peppers? I don't think we do. Peppers. Lettuce, field onions, herbs, chestnuts. I'm pretty sure we've got those covered. Yeah. Agave, squash, fig, white mulberry. Cabbage. I don't know if we have cabbage. We can't not have cabbage. Like... Every Skyrim person that loves that on our channel would just like ask why. We have barley, and I'm I'm pretty sure we don't have wheat because we looked at that before. There's no wheat. All right, cool. How many books? And holy crap, we're getting a little low on books, right? Is this gonna be four? Oh gosh, how, how do I not math so hard sometimes? There we go. Look at that. Wheat, corn. Let's see how many how many do we have left? Livestock and, and seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four more. Can you stinkin' believe it? That's a lot, actually. Hey, how how's the monk doing? The monk? The how's the monastery holding up? There's four people. And they're cranking out books, but we're buying a lot of things. I guess technically we'll be buying a lot less there soon because, um, well, we're going to have all the seeds, right? See, I need to, I need my, my big old bump in labor force because we can get more people moving stuff. We can get more people working markets and just making things function and, and work better. Okay, let's get a road over here. <laughs> we'll speak of the devil. Who are you? Welcome. <laughs> I don't have a home for you. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> oh, how many people can these house? There's one child. That's the other thing. You guys are asking me for all these other homes. I'm looking for the ones that will house six and just have, like, tons of kids. I guess the retort to that is night goes, you... You don't have enough room <laughs> for six people. 
Would you please stop smallpox? Well, that's not, you know, something that's ravaged people over freaking millennia. Can we get that taken care of? Go hang out with the cows. All right. More Nordic homes all along here. Everything's going to be worked. Booyah. There, one more. The first one is complete. We need leather and wool. We need pea coats. Let's take a quick little inventory check here. Yeah, we've got 3,800 leather. That's from the ridiculous amount of bison. We already have just under a thousand wool. That's the apricots. We're, we're good on those. Wow. All right. Pea coats. Two people. Bing bong. We need to track these. For sure. Let's make sure we get everybody on there when they need to. Dear trader, what you got? Did you bring food or is it just a bunch of crap? Eh, it's a bunch of crap. Um, we don't need any of this. Okay, thank you. Bye. We don't need any of his junk. Oh, we got another trader coming here. Are your books stocked yet? 200? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We got what we need. Trade pigs, trade, and freezing cows. Uh, nope. I don't I don't want to dabble in the, the trade animals with the larger animals. Which does remind me, actually. I think... Let me pause. We've got trade chickens, right? <clears throat> How much are those worth? Two fifty? What? Fifteen a year on that little plot? What? That's a little nuts, right? That that's nuts. Let's. Turn you off. And you off. I don't I don't want to overdo it because of my labor force, actually. Not because of the supply. We've got plenty of supply. As you can see, we're waiting on domesticated animals for the rest of this nonsense. So we're gonna mark that there. Save two. Mark them for pea coats. Yeah, we'll just we'll just shut all these down for now. Two of them are currently working and doing their thing. That's fine. There's a bunch of people that are sick, but we've got hospital and medical facilities all over the place. Candle makers, man. You know how they sneeze on people. I mean, you know. I know, right? How are we doing on grain? Not the best. I should probably switch some of these out. Oh, wait. We, we've got a bunch of strawberries. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, chilies. Baby back ribs. Lettuce. I, I don't actually want to start supplementing what we already have put down because I'll probably mess up our efforts to um to tin all this stuff see kernels oh wow i really should do more beans we're doing fine apples are doing fine it's lower than what it was before but it's still like we could totally take an entire episode on just managing that let's mark this not to be work let's say two people pea coats and we'll just shut it down but but this are there two people working both of these there are like what what the deuce there's so much seed oil being made over here all these are stinking full. Oh, it's making seed oil, not vegetable oil. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, you can't make it. It's not going to work, okay? Oh, apple pie. We've got plenty of flour, honey, and apples. Oh, my goodness. I think our storage situation is not as bad as I'm freaking out about, like, well, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff that they're trying to put away. And I bet you they're just dumping it over here at some point. All right, we've got a school over there. Let's get that going. All right, guys, I'm going to make a cut here. Uh, this video is going on a bit long, and it's a bit late for me. I should go to bed. Thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We'll keep going on the orchards. We'll keep trying to build up other industries. And, and overall, just keep progressing on everything. I mean, this has just been a lot of fun. It, it has been a bit of a, you know, the reboot was kind of weird, but we'll we'll figure it out. Look at all this space we haven't even touched yet. So much, actually. <gasps> the possibilities. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Do appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Later.